simplify each of the following. And we have four examples of some exponential expressions. Each of these relies on a rule that we have that says if we have x to the a times x to the b, we can combine these by writing x to the a plus b. Basically, if we have two powers of the same thing being multiplied together, we add the powers or the exponents. So for x cubed times x to the fourth, we can combine these by adding the exponents, x to the 3 plus 4, which gives us x to the seventh power. Similarly, if we have x to the 12th times x to the 15th, we can add those exponents, and that gives us x to the 27th power, because 12 plus 15 equals 27. The next one isn't meant to be tricky, but there is something you've got to be careful about. We've got y times y to the 24th. Now, if we were to put an exponent on that first y, it would have to be 1, because y to the first is the same as just y. So here we have y to the first times y to the 24th, and when we add those exponents together, it gives us y to the 25th. Lastly, we have an example of three different powers of a being multiplied a squared times a cubed times a to the fourth. And even though there's more than two, we still add the exponents together because they're being multiplied similarly to the others. And here, two plus three plus four is nine. So this becomes a to the ninth, which is our final answer.